Have you started a new Minecraft server but don't know how to create ranks and set up permissions for those ranks? I'm Tom from Shockbite and in this video I'll be guiding you through how to do just that using look perms. Before you begin, you'll first need to install look perms. I recommend also installing Essentials X, Essentials X Chat and Vault as these make setting up various permissions easier and allow you to display ranks in chat messages. First, head over to the download page for these four plugins. They can be found linked in the video description. When you've downloaded these plugins, put them in your server's plugin folder. This can be done by using an FTP client, such as FileZilla. When you've successfully uploaded the plugins, restart your server, they will now be added. Now, before you begin setting up permissions, you need to make yourself a server operator. To do this, type slash op your username in console. Now, load up your game. When your game has loaded and you've connected to your server, type slash LP editor to begin setting up ranks and permissions. This will give you a link in chat. When you click this link, you will get a web editor. On the web editor, you'll be prompted with another command to verify the session. Enter this in game. Now you've verified your session, you can begin setting up ranks. First, to create a rank, press the down arrow next to the groups tab. Then, press the plus icon to the right. This will open a window that enables you to create a group. For this example, I'll be creating an admin rank. Now I'll quickly explain the meaning of all the following options. The group name is the name of the rank you will type when performing commands in game. For example, adding permissions or giving a user the rank. The display name is what will appear when, for example, listing what groups a served member is part of, like the example on screen now. The parent dropdown allows you to carry over permissions from other ranks. For example, if setting up a donator ranks, this allows you to give a higher rank all the permissions of a lower rank without having to manually enter all the permission nodes again. The weight of a group is how the hierarchy of ranks is sorted. The higher the weight, the higher the rank will be. If you intend to add more ranks later on, don't worry too much what you put here as it can be changed later on. The prefix and suffix options let you display the rank in chat. Anything entered in the prefix box will appear before the player's name. Anything in the suffix box will appear after. If you'd like to use formatting in your prefixes and suffixes, the default Minecraft colour codes are on screen now. An important thing to know when formatting is to make sure you input the code to format the text after the code to colour it. For example, AND4 and L would make the text bold and red. However, AND L and 4 would only make it red as a code for red negates the bold formatting. When you've filled out the information to your liking, it's now time to add permissions. To do so, begin typing the permission node you like to add or remove from the rank in the text box at the bottom of the screen. If you enter an asterisk in this box, it will give that group every permission for every plugin. It's important not to give this permission to anyone but the server owner as they will be able to do everything on the server. If you enter the name of a plugin, for example Essentials, followed by a dot and an asterisk, like the example on screen now, that rank will get every permission from that plugin. If you're not sure what the permission node you need is, most plugins have all of their permission nodes listed on their download page, and you'll be able to find it from a quick Google search. In this example, I'll be given the permission to use slash fly to admins, so I'd go ahead and type essentials.fly in said box and press enter. When you've created the ranks and permissions you'd like, press apply in the top right corner of the window. It's important to note, if you're not sure what permissions to give right now, you can come back later and add them with a web editor or add them in game using commands. I'll explain how to do that later in the video. Your ranks will now be added to the server, but you still need to apply them to players. First, if you'd like to add a rank to a player, enter the following command. Slash LP user, the player's username, parent add, the group name. Doing this will add the rank to the player. If you'd like to clear all other ranks the player already has and only add one rank, instead enter slash LP user, the player's username, parent set, the group name. If you'd like to remove only one rank from a player, allowing them to keep every other rank they have, enter the following command, slash LP user, the username, parent remove the group name. 
Now you know how to give, take and set ranks in game. It's useful to know how to give and take permissions without having to open the web editor. To give a permission to a user, enter the command slash LP user, username, permission set, permission node, true. If you'd like to disallow a permission, meaning the user will not have access to it regardless of what rank they are, enter the same, but replace true at the end of the command with false. Removing permissions is also fairly simple. To do so, type slash LP user, username, permission unset, permission node. This will make that user have the permission that their role indicates instead of having their own set permissions. This format also works for ranks. For example, if you'd like to give or remove a permission from a rank, you'd type the following, slash LP group, the group name, permission set, permission node you'd like to add. Setting this to false will disallow the permission. Finally, I'll be showing you how you can also set the parents of groups through in-game commands. In this example, I'll be setting the default rank as a parent to admin, meaning admin rank will obtain all the permissions of default rank as well as its own. To do this, I'll type slash LP group admin parent add default. You should now know the basics of how to use look perms to set up ranks and permissions on your Minecraft Java Edition server. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know by leaving a comment down below and liking the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Shockbite for more game and game server tutorials like this.